Hello everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and yes, today I am ranting. And that is because something happened yesterday that made me mad. It isn't the first time it's happened, it won't be the last time it's happened, and most importantly it happens to other authors all the time, far worse than it happened to me. But it means that it is time for me to sit y'all down and have a little chat about how you should never, ever, ever tag an author in your negative review. Or in my case, don't comment on someone's channel on a video about their book telling them that you didn't like it. That is just completely unnecessary, incredibly tacky, and uncalled for. I will tell you that the comment in question wasn't even that mean, or that is not the point. So the content of the comment didn't, you know, crush my soul in a specific way. Generally speaking, I'm not quite as sensitive as some authors can be, but that is not the point. The point is, you, why the heck would you go into some an author's personal space? This channel is my personal space, and say, I didn't like your book. I thought the pacing was slow. Good for you! D don't tell me that! It's just so tacky. But outside of YouTube, this happens all the time on Twitter and on Instagram, where someone will post a negative review. On Twitter, most often, of course, it is a link to a blog post, and on Instagram, it is often a review that is in an Instagram post, and they will tag the author while tearing apart their book. Now, on Twitter in particular, when someone is tagging an author in, a, you know, to a link to a blog post, we have to assume that you are a terrible human being who legitimately wants us to know that you hated our book and you thought it had problems, that it wasn't well written, and so on and so forth. And I just want to look at you if you do this or have ever done this and say, examine your life. Examine your choices and the kind of person that you are because that is just mean and rude. Rude! It's really rude! Why would you do that? And then on Instagram I've noticed a rise in this poor etiquette and I'm not even entirely convinced that the people doing it realize what they're doing. Up until pretty recently, Instagram was a kind of book neutral space leaning on book positive, and that's actually why it has been such a safe space for authors and book lovers to interact, and also for many authors to have bookstagrams, because bookstagrams tend to be review and opinion neutral. It's all about beautiful photos of books and celebrating cool books coming out and positivity. But I've noticed that Instagram is going the way of pretty much every other platform, and this isn't necessarily a bad thing, by the way. And I'm seeing a rise in people posting a beautiful picture of a book, and then a scathing review of the book in the notes field on the photo, which th that's a choice. It's this weird cognitive dissonance. I've seen some really beautiful pictures of my book, and then the, the comments are like, didn't really like it, thought it wasn't a good book. I'm like, okay, I can't even like this because it's a gorgeous photo, but you're being mean to me. Now, in those cases, I wasn't usually directly tagged in the photos on Instagram. People hashtagged their photos with brightly burning my book. And this is my PSA to you if you are on Instagram and you like to post about books. Most authors follow the tags for their books. You can subscribe to a tag on Instagram so that those photos show on your feed. And most authors I know, we have subscribed to the tags for our books and our names. So even though you're not at tagging us, you're as good as tagging us, kind of. We're definitely going to see your photo and we may or may not read your comments on our books. But that said, I think there is tremendous value in there being spaces that exist for readers. I value readers' opinions of books and that's a wide variety of opinions. You have every right to dislike something that I have written really any book that anyone has written and have legitimate reasons for it and share them because you want other potential readers to know, oh, if this sort of thing bothers you, this might not work for you as it didn't work for me and so on. I think readers' spaces with reviews are pretty sacred. I have a well-stated policy on this. I've done a whole video on how reviews are really not for authors. They're for readers and authors should stay out. 
But here's the problem with reviewers who tag authors, at tagging us on Instagram, tagging us with links to reviews on Twitter, or commenting on our YouTube videos. You are forcing us to see your negative opinion of our work. You're removing the choice. Because every author has a choice. You have a choice whether or not to seek out all review kinds of reviews of your books, and especially negative reviews. And my advice for the overwhelming majority of authors is not to do that. It can be really, really derailing. It can ruin your day. It can derail your creative process. It can send you into this negative, awful funk. I'm not saying this to make you feel guilty about not liking books. Again, I value your right to have a myriad of opinion of books and express them online for other readers, but please do not remove the choice from authors to see this critical commentary of our work. Never directly tag us in negative things or reviews, comments about our work. It's not nice, it's not fair, and it can trigger a very strong emotional reaction. Yesterday, for me, it triggered my etiquette, where I was like, bad form, really bad form, and I honestly replied to the comment. Normally, we're not supposed to engage with negative reviews. That is another policy that I have. But this is a case where someone came into my space and unnecessarily told me that they didn't like my book, and I basically responded and said, that's really bad form, you really shouldn't have done this. I think it was a pretty measured response, and it is why I'm making this video, because I want you to know how it is on the author's side. So seriously, shine on you bright diamonds leaving your reviews, but never, ever, ever force an author to see your negative review or opinion on their book. I'll also say, I did actually have an Instagram case where it was a beautiful photo and a negative review attached to the photo, and they did actually directly tag my account. Yes, I thought that was tacky, so really this has been building for a few weeks. That was about two weeks ago. Seriously, don't do it, guys. It's just not cool. So there it is. That is my rant on why you should never ever tag authors and negative reviews, directly force them to engage with your critical opinion of their work. It's tacky. It's not nice, and you can do serious damage to someone's day, to their mood, to their self-esteem, to their creative process. You wouldn't want someone to do that to you. So many of you are aspiring writers. Would you want me to like, you know, walk up to your front door, knock on the door and say, hey, your writing sucks? No, you wouldn't. That's a terrible feeling. So just don't do it. All authors will thank you. And just a quick pin on that, I will say, because YouTube is a very weird space. You are free to film critical videos on books, and if an author finds it, that's really not your fault. It's the direct tagging and engagement that is the problem. So if you make a YouTube video about a book, don't tag them on Twitter if it's negative. Does that make sense? I think, I think so. I think it's pretty straightforward. But alas, this is an ongoing problem that comes up all the time. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions, though I can't imagine what questions you might have other than seriously, don't do this. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and the next time something really frosts my cupcakes about publishing, I will, I will film a little rant for you. They are kind of fun to make, and it's really nice to get all the feelings out so I can go about my day. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I post new videos two to three times a week all about writing and craft, publishing, YA, books, and so on. Thank you so much for watching and indulging me in my very strong feelings, and as always guys, happy writing and happy reading.